So hello guys and welcome back to another session. Now today I'm out doing a bit of a challenge type video. I've uh, been on Wish, this was during uh, coronavirus lockdown um, and I decided to get the cheapest full fly fishing setup I could find. Now I'm very specifically saying full fly fishing setup because I wanted it to have everything, basically everything you need to start fly fishing. And this was the cheapest one I could find, it was under £30, I think it was £29 something. Um, I've never used Wish before and it's one of them things where <clears throat> if you put something in your basket and you do some more shopping, they come back to you and go, if you buy it within 10 minutes we'll let you have, I don't know, 10% off. So uh, I basically did it for as cheap as I could possibly get. This is at the time of purchase, so this is like a couple of months ago, good two, three, four months ago. So there could be some cheap ones on there now, I don't know, but at the time of purchase, this was the cheapest one I could find. Um, I don't really know if I can pronounce the brand name, it's just Chinese, cheap, plastic reel, cork handle on the rod, that's quite a nice touch, I expected it to have a foam handle. Um, there wasn't much information about it when I bought it, I didn't know what weight it would be, what rating it would be, uh, but it's actually a five weight, so it's perfect for what I was going to use it for, which is small chub fishing on the local river. Um, it came with a fly line, it came with a tapered leader, about a ten foot tapered leader, it tapers down to about two pound, but I trimmed that down myself. And it comes with the flies as well. So all in all, it comes with everything you need to start fishing, as well as a carry case. Um, the actual case it comes with, packaged in, um, is the case that you can take out and, and row with. It just sits on your back. It's a four-piece rod. Uh, I have to say, it's very, very flexible, very, very spaghetti. Um, but what do you expect for a full, full fly fishing set under £30? Um, so yeah, all in all, I'm quite impressed with it to be fair. I've had a few sessions with it already. That's basically what you're going to see amongst this video. I've really struggled to get a solid session out there. First session I went out there, really struggled. Um, I was fishing the, the flies that it came with and I actually managed to hook into a, a five pound plus chub. It was a huge chub. Um, it was basically when I was finishing fishing, I had a crap afternoon, I would not caught a single thing. Um, and it managed to break me off in the weed and I was livid. I didn't go out again. Anyway, I've had a few other sessions, you'll be seeing them now. So you're going to see how it works, see how I get on with it. Um, I've actually found that the flies that are tied up myself at home have been the best, but that's where I've sort of shot myself in the foot. I keep tying up like two or three little flies, these little shiny silver tinselly flies, because the chub just seem to be after little bait fish at the minute. The problem is I keep getting snagged in trees and breaking off, and I've lost God knows how many. Um, so I've gone out for this little short session today. I've tied up, well, I've, I've tied up, I don't know, three of them. I've already lost two before I've even started filming. So I hope you enjoy this little video. Should be a short one, catching a few fish on this little fly rod. You can see how it works. Um, I don't think I've got a link to it, but I'll leave a screenshot of when I bought it so you can kind of see what it looks like um, and see how I get on with the basically the cheapest rod, full setup, full fly fishing setup on Wish. So essentially, you can start fly fishing from 30 quid. The only thing it didn't come with, I will have to mention, is backing. There was no backing for it, but I just whacked on some 80 pound Power Pro, whatever it was, braid I'd got lying around in the shed um, before I put the fly line on. And uh, like I said, so far, it's all right. I've had a few fish out. See if I can get anything else this session, and I hope you guys enjoy. Got a fish. It's not a very big fish. <laughs> Look at that. The size of the chub that took that little fly. Wicked little fish though. Only about two ounce, three ounce.
Go on. Yes. Not very uh, subtle, <laughs> but I got it. Small job. Oh, there we are. My homemade fly that makes it even better. Little shiny thing, look. Only a small fish, about eight ounces. Maybe less, maybe six ounces. Awesome fish. There we go, little guy. See if we can get another one out. Just two chasing it then. snapped off on the strike. I'm fishing way too light. That was only a small fish as well. Maybe it was my knot. Here's my uh, last homemade fly left. Um, yes. Might be a dace actually. Be a nice size dace if it is. God, it is a big dace. Look at that. That's a really good size dace. That is a proper chunk. Beautiful fish as well. Let's get him back. See ya, bud. Yeah, we're in. Lovely small chub. Beautiful little chub, only a baby. And the little bread fly, homemade. Just had this awesome little chub caught on the bread fly that I made at home. You can see it there on the corner of his mouth. Awesome little chub, beautiful colours on it. Wicked little fish. Now to quickly summarise, yeah I'd say the rod's fantastic for uh, for under 30 quid for a, a full fly setup. Can't really complain, especially if you're a beginner like me. Um, uh, I apologise for the content. Um, <laughs> I would have liked to have caught even just as many as I'd hooked, to be fair. Um, but I'm not a fly fisherman, as you guys know. So this has been a real struggle for me and a real first for me. I'm just starting to get used to the casting. I've just now got to get used to hooking and landing fish. I've had loads of takes um, from lots of small chub and even some bigger ones where I've just pulled the hook straight out of the mouth. I need to wait for the fish to turn the head. I know, it's just like with pike fly fishing I'm just too eager to get the strike in there um, and also I need to heavy up the leader a little bit more because I'm not used to using a fly rod or playing them on a fly rod I've been using a two pound leader and I've actually snapped off on two or three small chub they've only been like two pound something like that but um, I've broken off on, on, on the playing but anyway like I say fantastic setup I'd say if you wanted to get into fly fishing any kind of fly fishing like I say it's a five weight which means you can catch all sorts on it Small fish up to sort of three, four pounds. You'd definitely be very comfortable landing them on this gear. And I can't wait to get out and do some more fly fishing with it in the future. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe if you want to. And I'll catch you guys later.